What's up everyone, Ninth Jim here, back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. And today, we're talking about Drapion, aka Mega Evolved Randall from Monsters, Inc. This Pokemon is actually really cool, I love its design, I think it's really, it has a really strong typing, pretty solid stats, and a really good move pool. And its ability is like, pretty good. Um, and with the moves we have, and uh, the items that we provide, it can make its ability pretty solid. It's essentially just like... Super luck, but instead of the chance of your crit being raised, the damage of your crit is raised. So we have to use something like Razor Claw and Cross Poison to, you know, actually hit a crit. Otherwise, we're using no ability. Um, or, or an ability that will happen one out of, you know, however many a crit hit regularly is, which I don't know offhand. Anyway, so the Pokemon is pretty solid. We're using the typing we're using the typing it has the typing poison dark which is actually really really solid providing us one immunity four resistances and only one weakness which is really amazing you could even patch that up with a berry or even air balloon since it's ground ground anyway our immunity is psychic our four resistances are grass poison ghost and dark which aren't the best resistances but i mean resistances are resistances and then we have one weakness which is ground which is patch upable by a shukaberry or an air balloon as well as being able to just switch into something like a togekiss or a corviknight to just soak up that damage as an immune um, which is very very good honestly this pokemon has a lot of potential um with its stats we hit hp 70 defense 110 and special defense 75 special defense and hp are pretty average but defense actually being 110 which is very solid um so we can potentially live um an earthquake or uh Probably an Earthquake, not a high horsepower or max, uh, max Quake from something like an Excadrill. But being able to live an Earthquake is actually really solid. And then being able to, uh, you know, just be there during that is pretty cool. So, defense is pretty solid. Then as far as our offense goes, 90 attack, which is pretty okay. You know, a little above average, probably about average. And same with speed at 95, a little above average or, or about average. So, not too great um, as far as offense goes. But we can deal pretty good damage, and if we get crits, then we're dealing really solid damage, of course. Um, so, the ability Sniper gives us a 225% damage instead of 150 on our crits. So if we hit a crit, we're doing crazy damage. So it's pretty good. Anyway, that's going to be our overview for Drapion. Let's go ahead and talk about the moveset itself. So, the ability Sniper, like I said, is really good. We're using the item Razor Claw to raise our crit hit chance. Um, you see stuff like Scope Lens on Pokemon like Togekiss. You could use Scope Lens on this too, but essentially it gives you the same thing. Just a plus one into your crit hit chance. And uh, we're probably going to be using, using Togekiss on the same team a lot of the time. So, you know, Razor Claw instead of Scope Lens. Anyway. Um, you could use some other items here too. Life Orb for just easy damage, like you know what you're doing, 1.3 times damage, which is good. You can use it when it's Dynamax or non-Dynamax, which is good. Same with Razor Claw, you can use it either way. Um, but then we also have Shukaberry and Air Balloon, like I said, to patch up that one weakness we have. Um, either way is good. However, a lot of the time, there's multi-hit targeting, uh, multi-targeting hits that can, uh, break your Air Balloon. They can break it with Dazzling Gleam. They can break it with Rock Slide. Um, any of those kind of attacks and then go for a um, earth attack ground attack but most of those things are going to be slower than a common excadrill so you're going to be able to uh, get a, a lot of advantage out of using air balloon or shukaberry first um, in my opinion Drape drapeon likes those um, a lot but razor claw like kind of makes its ability and the whole thing that it does a little bit better so that's why we went with that uh, focusing on damage instead of living anyway so our uh, attacks here our moveset is poison jab crunch earthquake and protect now all these you can switch out really easily poison jab you can switch for cross poison if you don't think you're gonna dynamax this pokemon very frequently then cross poison is the way to go since it already gives you that plus one chance to hit crit and then razor claw gives you another plus one so you're instantly at plus two which is commonly the toga crit um, for Togekiss, you'll be at a 50% chance to hit a crit, and then you'll have a 50% chance to hit 225% damage for these things, which is really good. Just a basic coin flip to, to hit really huge damage, taking huge Okos against things like Excadrill, Togekiss, um, you know, all of these commonly played uh, very, very high tier Metamons, you're able to just Oko, which is really good, but only about 50% of the time. So we're going with um, a more Dynamax-centric build, although... I'll explain in our damage calcs why we didn't go with Dynamax. Um, 
for our damage calcs. But we will be able to Dynamax a lot of the time with this Pokemon, giving us really good max earthquakes, uh, or math, math, max quakes, math quick, max quakes, max, um, I don't know. I don't know what the other ones are. I know Dark Fall. I don't know what the poison ones are. Uh, ooze. Max Ooze. All these powerful max moves, which is really good. And then if you get a crit on a max attack, you're doing huge damage. I mean, at Togekiss. Uh, Toga crit. What else can I say? Anyway, so we have other moves that we can use here. Um, so we have Cross Poison as an option, like I said, with Poison Jab. If you don't think you're going to Dynamax very much, it's probably optimal. And then we also have Knock Off here instead of Crunch if you want to. Uh, but like I said, Dynamax is good, and we're just going for damage. So like Knock Off isn't the way that we're going for this build. But you'll see in our singles build, we are featuring Knock Off. But it's also just a great attack that you have access to. A couple of other attacks here we have for coverage is Leech Life and Rock Slide. We also have Brick Break uh, for coverage, but it's more for utility, but it's still like, you know, does decent damage. Um, so a couple of good um, coverage attacks there. And then we also have Swords Dance, of course, to make ourselves really buff. And then we also have Taunt as an option um, just to, you know, taunt. It's very good. Taunt is a good attack. Anyway, that's going to be it for our moves. Let's go ahead and talk about the stats. So it's pretty basic. We just went 252 into attack and 252 into speed. And then Jolly Nature so that we're as fast as possible. We hit a really solid speed tier at 161, which is pretty commonly fast with uh, on the same speed tier as things like Galarian, Darmanitan, and Arcanine, which is very good. And we'll talk more about speed tiers here in just one moment. So uh, pretty basic build here. We also put the leftover four into defense to try and help live those things like earthquakes and stuff a little bit easier as well. Anyway, that's going to be it for the whole moveset in general um, in the build. So let's talk about two synergetic Pokemon real quick. So we have Togekiss um, and Corviknight here. They both give us the, the really good option to switch in and re in immune to ground, which is our scary weakness, um, which is very good. Uh, Togekiss gives us, you know, just good damage against a lot of things as well and pretty uh, helpful support with Follow Me um, where you could even use Swords Dance with it which is really good and then we also have Corviknight here um, to you know kind of deter Intimidate a little bit because Intimidate against our Drapion is primo um, for them not good for us and then we also have it um, since Corviknight really walls out the Tyranitar Excadrill combo um, which is pretty scary for Drapion and that's really good to have um, something like that to kind of scare off our worst matchups which is just good in general anyway that's gonna be it for this slide let's go ahead and move on to some speed tiers so uh, like I said we hit 161 which is on the same speed tier as Arcanine Arcanine won't always be max speed however so we'll probably be out speeding Arcanine a lot of the time but Arcanine still gets its intimidate off which is really really annoying for Drapion because he doesn't really want to see an intimidate um, but intimidate so prevalent in the meta you're gonna be seeing intimidate most of the time Anyway, a couple of things that we do outspeed. Um, initially, you'll see one thing that is really good that we outspeed. We outspeed Excadrill, which is our worst matchup, debatably. Um, and not really debatably. We need to hit, like, a crit max hit um, to be able to knock it out before it can knock us out. But it does a lot of damage to us, so it's really good that we um, outspeed it. Just enough to hit it with an Earthquake or something first, or a Max Quake. Um, and if we crit, like I said, huge, huge damage. So that's really, really good. A couple of other things that we outspeed. Form Change Rotom. Um, which isn't going to be super huge, but it's good that we outspeed it. Duraludon that we outspeed, but also, well, we have Earthquake, which is really good. And then we have uh, Gyarados and Togekiss. It's really good that we outspeed Togekiss as well, since we could do a lot of damage with Max Ooze or Cross Poison or Poison Jab. Uh, especially with a critical, we do a lot of damage to those Pokemon. A couple of things that do unfortunately outspeed us is Mimikyu, Charizard, Durant, Inteleon, Whimsicott, um, Choice Scarf. Uh, Pokemon, you know, Chlorophyll, Pokemon, uh, Swift Swim, Pokemon, Dragon Dance, all of those modifiers, um, Max Airstream, a lot of things that are after the turn one are going to be outspeeding us, Tailwind, um, a lot of Pokemon are going to be outspeeding us, you know, just the Pokemon that are commonly very fast, um, Dragapult, and all of those modifiers with like Choice Scarf and stuff like that um, will be out, will be able to outspeed us. But other than that, um, we hit a very, very solid speed tier, 161 is commonly very fast, so pretty good stuff. Anyway, let's move on. Let's talk about some damage calcs. So, um, first off, we have Max Quake from an Excadrill um, Earthquake. Or, uh, so, the little one is Max Quake. So, the main one is Earthquake into our Drapion. Hits 82 to 99.3%. This is Jolly um, Excadrill Max Attack. Um, no modifiers like Life Orb or, or anything. Um, hitting a guaranteed 2 KO, so a guaranteed to live 
a no modifier earthquake, which is really, really good. However, a lot of co uh, common leads with Excadrill will be like Dazzling Gleam. And if they suspect we're like Sash or something or know this calc offhand, then they're going to hit us with a Dazzling Gleam. But we still get to attack first, which is really good. Probably Earthquake to knock out that Excadrill or do a lot of damage to it. Or, um, of course, like Max Ooze or um, Poison Jab onto their Togekiss if that's their common lead. Anyway, then the, we also have a Max Quake here from it. Um, hitting 144 to 171. This shouldn't really come as a surprise since, well, it hits 99% um, with Earthquake. Next, we have our Drapion Earthquake into an Excadrill. Uh, Dynamax Excadrill hitting 27 to 32%, which is not a lot. But if we do hit a crit, then we hit 61 to 72. And if it's a Max Quake crit, which I can't calculate. So this is the reason we don't have a lot of Max attacks in these damage calcs. Um, is because on the damage calculator, you can't really calculate... Um, max attack plus crit. I, j I don't know why they don't have that included, uh, but that is not included. So we can't calculate that perfectly. However, with an earthquake, one should be able to uh, suspect that earthquake will then go to about 140 BP, 150 BP, probably 140 or 130. Um, and then two times that, uh, or two, 225 times that. Uh, so we should be able to take it out or get a very very high amount of damage um which is really good with a with a crit uh, max quake so it's pretty good anyway next we have our poison jab into a very defensive togekiss hitting 44 to 53 providing us only a 23 percent chance to two hit ko however with a crit we hit 101 to 120 percent which is a guaranteed oko against a defensive togekiss which is very very good hitting these crits can be really really good as you can see Next, we have Crunch into an Eviolite, very defensive Dusclops, hitting 34 to 41%, a guaranteed 3-hit KO, which is very unfortunate. However, a crit uh, gives us 76 to 92%, um, which is a very good chunk of damage. So if, uh, if we 2-hit KO it with one of them being a crit, that is possible. But if we don't get any crits, then we're just 3-hit KOing it, which is like not that great. Especially if it has Pain Split or anything, then it's not very good. Or if it burns us, then it's not very good. Um, next, we have our Crunch into a Dragapult, a critical into a Dynamax Dragapult, hit this 93 to 110%, which is a 56.3% chance to Oko, which is really good. However, a lot of the times it will hit us with a Max Worm Wind minus one in us, so this won't even be possible. But we might be able to two hit KO it with uh, a crit as one of the hit those hits, which is good. Anyway, that's going to be it for our damage calc session. Let's go ahead and talk about some single spotlight. So, as you can see there, we have Randall from Monsters Inc., his little brother. Um, and so yeah singles single spotlight so we're running battle armor just so we can't get crit which isn't like an amazing thing but we're running pretty defensive with knockoff taunt earthquakes toxic spikes we're running black sludge for a little bit of heal and then a very defensive ev spread so knock knockoff and taunt are just there to be annoying uh keep walls from really setting up and keep walls from really doing anything in general um with taunt knockoff take off their healing items which is really good earthquake provides us a good bit of damage against things like toxapex and, and just some pokemon in general and then we also have toxic spikes here to just set up and be annoying um unfortunately we can't really hit defog pokemon so defog pokemon are pretty uh, good against this setup but still it's not bad and then we have um, our defensive spread so you can change up this defensive spread a little bit if you're playing level 100 spread um, but I changed it to a level 50 spread um, for 252 at HP 44 into special defense and 212 into eight into speed giving us I don't really know exactly why these spreads are here this was just a spread from uh, something I found online for a singles Drapion um, but you know the general idea is there we're pretty bulky we're doing pretty good damage with knockoff and earthquake while being really annoying with taunt and toxic spikes and that's pretty much the whole idea of the singles build for uh drapion so anyway without further ado thank you so much for watching um the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got some ideas for drapion drapion's not huge in the meta and it probably won't be it has some really cool um things that it can do with dynamax and crit hits but it is a very luck-based Pokemon, you know, for uh, really solid damage output. We do have to hope for a 50% chance to crit um, or, you know, the very low chance of critting without um, using the, the cross poison, which is unfortunate. But Drapion is still a pretty cool Pokemon nonetheless, and I think it's pretty solid. Um, probably won't be seeing much meta play, but it's still a really cool Pokemon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you had uh, any fun during this video, I don't know why I said it that way. It was, that sounded kind of weird. But uh, if you enjoyed the video at all, um, like and subscribe means a lot to me. If you enjoy 9th Gym, like and subscribe means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for watching. 
have a great day goodbye also like uh like the video and uh follow me on twitter i only have two followers and i'm in the dark i don't really post that much but still do it and then we also have um a discord where in the description in the description below you can you can click on it but we have uh you know you can battle people we have trades we can just discuss things we have discussions in there sometimes and uh yeah if you want to be a, a part of the whole ninth gym experience join the discord anyway thank you so much for watching have a great evening goodbye